Who is Lutz Heck? A Nazi zoologist with dreams of a Jurassic Park. Did he have plans to create T-Rex for the German soldiers to ride into battle? We look at the weird creations of a man who had the idea of bringing back long dead creatures before the story of the rampaging dinos we are also familiar with today was even penned. Let's take a look at the Nazi Jurassic Park. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. Lutz Heck was a German zoologist who roamed the world looking for animals and he had a plan which was supported by the Nazi regime. This plan was to bring back a long extinct breed of large horned cattle called aurochs. This bovine monster was not only the beast he had his heart set on, his plan was to create a whole menagerie of animals that once roamed the Rhineland of old, a Nazi Jurassic Park. This eventually led to the crazy zoologist breeding the Heck cattle, a long horned naturally aggressive beast still found in Europe today. He also created breeds of wild horse similar to those of long ago. Taking over the Warsaw Zoo by 1941, he filled the zoo with animals to help populate his park. The others he found on his travels, those he did not want to keep, he hunted and killed, something he was said to really enjoy. His, and by extension, the Nazis' ambition to create a park filled with animals from the past seemed to be a certainty. This park would be used for German men to hunt and prove their manhood. This idea coming from the stories that were told of ancient Germans and how they would prove their manliness by venturing into the wilds alone to kill one of these huge beasts. A rite of passage that would support the idea of Aryan superiority and be a PR dream for the Nazi propaganda machine. These plans would be stopped with the outbreak of war. The science Heck was using was flawed. Unlike the books and movies, there was no finding of DNA in an amber encased mosquito, a method which modern science says is impossible. Readable DNA only lasts up to about 1.5 million years. Heck wasn't even using genetic editing. He was developing a program of selective breeding. This meant he was not recreating the animals from the past, but breeding completely new ones. These animals may resemble older species, but genetically they are nothing like the real thing. Heck travelled the globe looking for species he could breed to recreate the aurochs. Many countries like Canada gave him animals to help in his efforts. He claimed to be successful with many species and moved forward with the park. The war then came and as we all know it didn't go the way Germany had planned and when allied forces attacked the country their bombs destroyed the zoo and many of the animals Heck had bred. Those that escaped the zoo killed by starving locals and eaten. A few did however survive and these Nazi bred beasts can be found in zoos today. As for Heck, he survived the war and lived until his 80s, 10 years shy of seeing what his dream could have been on the silver screen. Have you seen a Heck animal in a zoo? Do you think the Nazis successfully bred any other strange creatures? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.